The following program is a paid presentation for American Medicine Today and the Bonatti Spine Institute. The information and opinions expressed are solely those of American Medicine Today and are not the opinions of the station, its affiliates, management, or employees. Welcome to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, the world leader in advanced spine surgery, featuring the internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Hi, I'm your host Kimberly Bramell and welcome to American Medicine Today brought to you by the Bonatti Spine Institute. Every week we inform you about breakthroughs in medicine, highlight the work of Dr. Alfred Bonatti and the Bonatti Spine Institute, share some of our patients' miraculous recovery stories, and discuss what we feel is the crisis in American medicine today, also known as Obamacare. Today we'll speak with Dr. Jason Stibick, an internal medicine physician in Apollo Beach that is treating patients with mild to severe depression without drugs, and this revolutionary treatment is even helping migraine sufferers at the same time. We'll also hear from Congressional Medal of Honor recipient Gary Luttrell about his amazing recovery and some of our medical staff that truly cares for these patients and helping them get back to enjoying life in our Back to Life segment. And finally, we'll hear from Dr. Benatti about the growing concern and problems that have recently been highlighted with the veterans' care and what Dr. Benatti is doing to try and assist in their recovery. American Medicine Today reaches out to scientists, specialists, and experts in their medical field to discuss topics that impact you and your medical well-being. This week I visited Dr. Jason Stibeck, an internal medicine physician that is treating depression patients with transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy. 19 million Americans suffer from depression and physicians nationwide are now convinced that TMS in some cases is saving lives in patients who had given up all hope. I'm here with Dr. Jason Stibeck, and we're going to be speaking about TMS therapy. So, doctor, why don't you tell everyone what TMS stands for? Uh, TMS stands for transmagnetic cranial stimulation, so we're using magnetic pulses to treat depression. This machine is, is uh, made by Neurostar, just as you would go into an MRI machine and have your shoulder done or your head scanned. It uses the magnetic technology to provide the treatment uh, to the frontal portion of the brain. This is the uh, part of the machine that we place on the frontal part of the person's uh, head to provide magnetic pulses to the frontal part of the brain. This is the computer that we use to determine the correct settings in the patients and how much power that they um, are able to tolerate with the magnetic pulses. How much of the population suffers from depression? Depression is one of those hidden beasts out in the community. I think everybody has family members that have suffered from depression. Everybody has somebody that in their family that they wish they could fix or at least make them feel like they feel. So uh, in our practice, we treat depression on a daily basis, if not two or three patients a day. With this particular therapy, what are the advantages, say as opposed to something like electroshock therapy? Uh, electroshock treatment it has been considered the gold standard of treatment for in psychiatry to treat depression mm -hmm. uh, for the severely depressed patient. But now we have something that is treating depression in the 21st century. It's treating depression without giving somebody uh, a global seizure to their brain to try to fix them. The benefit of ours over ECT treatment is we do not need anesthesia, we do not put people to sleep for this procedure, we do not create a, a seizure in the brain to depolarize the brain to treat the depression and their depression. We're using very controlled magnetic uh, pulses to a portion of the brain where the depression center is. People are able to come into the office, they do not have any IVs, they have no medicines that they have to take, they sit in our chair uh, for 37 minutes and then they go back to their job or they go home and take care of their kids. How successful is this procedure? In the Neurostar studies, uh, their success rate is phenomenal. Their remission rate is phenomenal. Most people that have been treated with four medicines if you add another antidepressant medication to their treatment, there is about a 7% uh, chance of remission uh, with that medication. The, okay. With using this device, there's a 37% chance of remission. 
Substantial. Uh, substantial, no depression. Uh, how many people does it make feel better in the studies? At least 67% uh, after the six weeks. And in the study, they said, well, let's take it a little further and maybe let's treat patients for two months. And 85% felt better. Seven months ago, I was so depressed that I wasn't able to function. I couldn't work, I couldn't drive, I could barely watch television. Um, after the six weeks of Neurostar TMS therapy, I was back to work, I was feeling great, um, I was enjoying my kids again, and it, I had my life back. I didn't notice the signs of improvement for a few weeks into the process. My family noticed it that first week. They said that I was sitting up straighter, that I was more engaged. The amount of progress that I made in the six weeks of TMS treatment was just phenomenal. Um, I felt better than I have in years, and I went from taking, I was taking six medications, then I, when I finished TMS I have one, one simple antidepressant, and I'm feeling great. That's when it, it came together, when I was able to see where I had been where the treatment itself was working enough that the fog that the depression puts over your self-perception was lifted. And I felt, I felt hope. Is it only useful for depression or have you found other benefits of this procedure? Some patients that have depression, they also have headaches. Um, three of my patients that after the first week or even after the first treatment, they don't have headaches for the whole time uh, we're treating them for the four or six weeks. Mm -hmm. And when they come back into the office and I ask them how their headaches are doing, they say, we, the headaches are gone. It's even safe if you're pregnant, postpartum depression. It's been studied for that as well. So there's no medicines that go in the body. There's, there's, no, uh, uh, there's no systemic side effects to this treatment. Have you yourself tried this procedure? Everybody in, in our office has uh, done this procedure on ourselves, especially in training. It's extremely safe, it's easily tolerated. I would put my wife, my parents in this chair and offer them as, as hope uh, to treat their depression if they had it. How does one start the process if they are feeling depressed and they come in what is that initial process like? If you've tried one antidepressant and you're depressed, to me you're the right fit. If you're majorly depressed, we can probably fix you. If you're minorly depressed, we can probably make your depression go away. We'll be right back to speak with Medal of Honor recipient Gary Luttrell about his remarkable recovery in our Back to Life segment. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. Welcome back to American Medicine Today, presented by the Benatti Spine Institute. At the Benatti Spine Institute, all of the procedures are performed here at our 11-acre facility. From your initial consultation and exam to x-rays and MRIs in our on-site imaging center. All surgeries are performed in one of our three surgical operating rooms and recovery is just steps away. This allows a surgeon more access to their patients and allows you to go home the same day. Dr. Benatti was born in Italy, grew up in Chile, and is proud to call himself an American citizen. He enjoys the opportunity and freedom our country offers to everyone that is willing to work for a better life and exercise the rights we enjoy. The men and women of the armed forces that have sacrificed for our freedom sometimes cannot receive the medical treatment necessary to get them back to life. Dr. Benatti and the staff of the Benatti Spine Institute is proud to assist some of our wounded warriors by providing surgical procedures at no charge. Here's just one of our Help for Wounded Warriors Back to Life stories. I originally injured, uh, injured my back uh, in Vietnam. Uh, what caused it, I don't know, but I was, uh, I was down for a couple of days with uh, severe low back pain. It, it sort of went, went away and then I injured it again in a training accident. Uh, uh, program in uh, in Panama, and that time I was hospitalized for a couple of weeks, 
and traction uh, and muscle relax relaxers in the last 17 years, just progressively, progressively worse to where the last couple of years, uh, my lifestyle was pretty much housebound. I think we see that a lot as far as um, many patients have been to uh, several doctors, several different uh, methods in trying to deal with their problem and oftentimes uh, on a large amount of medication and to take those patients uh, and help them uh, by relieving the pain and thereafter uh, being able to detoxify off narcotics and then go back to being productive, I think that's uh, very rewarding. Through the, through the years, just developed severe low back pain. I had um, back surgery there at the Tampa VA Hospital, and if anything, it made it worse and stood it better. I ended up retiring uh, because of my low back pain. We get the results. We get the results. And we actually take patients that have gone to those places, and we see the surgeries that are not near the equivalent of what we do here. You kind of feel guilty when uh, your wife is out in the backyard working, uh, doing yard work, etc., and, and you go out to help, and she looks at you and says, no, honey, I'll do it. So, yeah, quality of life, being able to do what you used to be able to do, and not be ashamed of looking out the window and watch your wife do everything that used to you used to do as a, as a couple. Well, I'm, I'm always thrilled to be able to help our patients, but uh, for those who have made tremendous sacrifice and have, um, have seen very difficult times, it's, it's, it's an honor to be able to ease their pain and, uh, and, and to give them comfort. So it's, it's always exciting to have special folks come in through us. Go to the football and basketball games, limp as I climbed up in the bleachers. Uh, would sit for a while, stand for a while, sit for a while. Uh, that was the quality of life that I had before the surgery. Last year, I was, I think I had more bad days than I had good days. Uh, on a bad day, I'd spend most of the day in my recliner chair or in bed. And on a good day, I, I would get out and about with a, uh, a pronounced limp uh, and quite a bit of pain. And then I, uh, I was at a football game with, um, my grandsons and one of the founders of the Laser Spine Institute, uh, son was played football with my grandson and he noticed me limping quite a bit and asked me my, my problems. Um, I shared with him what I'd gone through, failed back surgery. And he said, you know, I, I really need to, uh, uh, to get a consult with the Laser Spine Institute, which I made uh, I made an appointment, then I received a call from a friend of mine and said, you know, probably you would want to talk to Dr. Bernardi. And uh, so I did, had a MRI, and after about a 45 minute consult, I said, you know, this, this is something that I have to go through with. Quite reluctant to have back surgery again after having failed back surgery. Um, I have trust and faith that, that he can relieve some of my pain. Well, it's uh, amazing to see somebody who is sick and is without hope and has uh, <clears throat> situations where uh, they were already told that nothing can be done and we can correct that. I went through three surgeries with Dr. Bernardi. At the uh, end of the third surgery, I, I went home. Ten days later, I went back. Still had a little bit of a limp. Uh, a little bit of pain, and uh, Dr. Bonatti injected both of my sacroiliac joints. And that gave me instant relief. And then over the next couple of weeks, each day just seemed to get better and better and better. And where now I am, I'm virtually pain free. When I went in and talked with uh, Dr. Bonatti, he said, uh, I have a, a desire to donate one surgery a month to veterans and our active duty. And if you are willing to go through with the surgery, then it will be pro bono under my Wounded Warrior project that I have going. It's wonderful to be able to help the Wounded Warrior veterans. My father was a World War II veteran, and uh, he was a land surveyor and uh, professional engineer. And uh, growing up, uh, I worked for him a lot of summers 
and uh, he always gave discounts to vets and to clergy, and uh, I thought that was a pretty good practice. This is a group that uh, uh, has proven themselves. Uh, they're most worthy of extra effort on our part. Dr. Benatti told me, uh, uh, stop limping. My wife thought he said, stop wimping. And so we got home, he, she said, uh, okay, you can't wimp anymore. I said, honey, he didn't say wimp, he said limp. And so uh, I, uh, I did stop limping. Two weeks after uh, the last surgery, uh, I really put my back to a test. I went uh, fishing in, uh, in Canada uh, for halibut, uh, king salmon, uh, four days and four nights on a, on a boat, uh, and I taxed my back to the max, and I was totally pain-free for the entire trip. Well, being completely retired now, I have one son and two grandsons that live right down the street, and the opportunity to spend as much time as I do with my uh, my son and two grandsons means an awful lot to me. Definitely use Eagle 5, my boat out in the backyard, uh, a lot more, um, and make all their ball games, their football games, basketball games. Uh, pretty much anything that they want to do, uh, Papa can still hang in there now. Well, I'm building a house right next door and it has four flights of stairs. And uh, so I test my back quite often by uh, walking very briskly up and down the four sets of stairs in the house next door. So if I can do that, I can probably get up and down those bleachers without wimping again. Well, I appreciate uh, you getting me to a state where I'm virtually pain-free and I also appreciate what you do for our veterans um, and our retired military. Well. My part is very small, but it's always exciting to, to see the response of our patients, uh, to, to be a part of, of that experience. It's, uh, you know, I, I'm just there to, to help and, and uh, make the process easier for them, but um, Dr. Bonatti makes the magic. When I first met him uh, and he reviewed the, uh, you know, the, the MRI and, and was while reviewing the MRI I was saying, you have a problem here that gives you pain. It should have pain here. And it's like, well, exactly. And it's like, this is, this is unbelievable. And then when he, he shared with me the procedure, uh, the minimal invasive procedure, the rapid recovery, um, I, I, I was just convinced immediately. And then to find out that uh, Dr. Bonatti is such a great guy that he wants to donate um, one surgery a month to our veterans and to our wounded warriors is just unbelievable. What a heart. Uh, every time that I walk in the operator room, when I am scrubbing my hands, I always, uh, I always thank God for the opportunity to do this. And it's very unique, uh, that feeling. And you need to appreciate it. The same like the patient. When you are doing the surgery, the patient appreciates that. And it's amazing how easy the word God comes in their minds. We're not going anywhere because we believe in what we do. There's no other place that will give you those immediate results, first of all. Secondly, you're talking about patients' lives. There's nothing else that may make you feel like you're making a difference. No other place will do it. Well, I've had a lot of people ask me uh, about my back. Um, and when I explained to them that I'm virtually pain-free, uh, I have recommended since my surgery three people to Dr. Benatti. And my comment to them was, it worked for me. You need at least a consult. Get an MRI, get a consult, and then you make your decision from there. So anyone that had pain like me, I definitely recommend the Bonatti Spine Institute. When we return, we'll be joined by world-renowned surgeon and inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Dr. Alfred Bonatti, to discuss the growing concern of our veterans and the care they need, but in many areas of the country, are having a hard time receiving.